Okay, in this video we're going to use idle and turtle again and we're going to have a go at creating some repeating shapes and with that some repeating patterns. So again, as always, we want to go to new file because we want a non-interactive window. We're going to go to save as. I'm going to save this one as repeated shapes. Okay. We need to start by importing the turtle module, otherwise nothing's going to work. And for this one, we're going to use some repeats, but the repeats we're going to use are not the while loop. Instead, we're going to use for i in range. And basically, the way this works, put three in there, is i is, means integer. So for the number in a particular range, so for, for example, in this one, we want a range of three, which is a number of three. Just to show you a quick example, this will make a repeat of three. So if I say hello world with an h, I close my speech marks and I run that we should get hello world printed out three times if I change that to a five and I run the module again I should get five outputs so this is quite a good way of doing repeats or loops when we've got a specific number the while loop can be a lot more useful if you want it to end when a particular condition is met. But for these ones, this works quite well. So we're going to change that back to three. And what I'm going to try and do is make a triangle here. So we're going to say turtle dot forward 100, turtle dot right 120. 120 because the internal angles of a triangle are... 60, but we're going forwards and then turning on the outside, so we want 120. 120 plus 60 makes 180, which is the angle of a straight line. So if I run that now, we should see that we get one triangle. Now if we want to change that to have two triangles, what we can do is we can have a nested repeat, so or a nested loop. For I in range, I want two of them, so I'm going to say two. All of this though now needs to be indented under that one otherwise it won't happen. Now, there's two ways you can do that. You can either literally click before each one and press the tab button or you can highlight the whole section and press tab once which is a bit easier. Now if I run that you'll find it draws the first triangle but then it draws the second triangle over the top which isn't terribly useful. So to solve that problem what we're going to do is we're going to say after the first one's complete, so we've gone back so we're lined up with the first one. If you're not sure how to do that, you can either just press delete once, just like that, or you can just go back to the start and press tab once, so you're in line with that. So this will happen under this instruction, but not under this instruction. And what we're going to say is we want turtle pen up. So it's not drawing. Turtle dot forward. Now the triangle's a hundred long and it's starting on the left hand side. So if we put a hundred, it will just touch at the end. So we're going to say 150. Try different numbers. See what happens. Turtle dot pen down so it's ready to draw again. Got to put the brackets in the right place. Okay, now if I run this, what we should get is we should get the first triangle drawn. And then it should move across and draw the second triangle. And then it's ready to draw the third one. But it's going off the page. We can deal with that in a second. The way we can deal with that is we can set at the very start of here before it starts to draw. If we do turtle.pen up, we can say turtle.go to. Now the top left hand corner is a minus figure. So we can say minus 200 by 200 up and then we can say turtle dot pen down and we run the module this time and you'll find it should start much higher up in the left hand corner and it's got a bit more space if you want it to go a bit higher change that second number this one here if you want it to go a bit further left change that one to minus 250. I think minus 300 will be off the screen, but we can try it and see what happens. Okay, just about fits actually. 
if we want more triangles now, we just need to change the 2 into a 3 or a 4. Run that again. And we start to get some interesting patterns. If we don't want them to go completely off each other, then we can change this number so it's something like 90. So remember, this is the distance it's moving after it's drawn the first triangle. And you'll see these ones now overlap. It draws one. And then it starts to draw the second one over the first one. So you start to get some quite interesting patterns developing. If we want to change the shape it's drawing, we just need to change the number of sides. So if we change that to 4 and the angle to 90. You find you're now going to hold a series of slightly overlapping squares. In the same way if we change that to 5 and change that one to 72. Get a series of slightly overlapping pentagons.